right, so we have our first horse in the second round of this competition, the Trans-Tasman Young Rider. And the way this works is that New Zealand went first in the first round. This time, Queensland goes first. So we have Hugh Buchanan and Centago, and unfortunately they've had fence one down, so four penalties. And at the end of the first round, because they take the top three scores, New Zealand finished with a total of 12 and Queensland was on 16. So there's only one rail between them and uh, unfortunately, Centago has already had three rails down. So again, just stressing the difficulty of riding these horses Obviously, the second time around, the horses know the course, so some of the horses become a little easier to ride and some of the horses become a little more difficult. And this horse certainly seems to be falling into the more difficult category where he's trying to take over a little bit and giving Hugh a more difficult ride. And that's really unfortunate for Hugh and Centigo. So first rider for New Zealand, Logan Massey, and he's riding the little grey horse, Superflex George. In the first round, this horse had 12 jumping penalties. Let's see if, uh, if Logan has got to know the horse a little better. So clear fence one and two. We did see last night, this little horse got even keener in the second round and he was really quite tricky for Hugh. Very bold going little horse. But so far five fences and clear. and totally demolishes the plank fence, but still only incurs four penalties, so it makes no difference if you have just the top rail or top board or the entire fence down. We've also had first part of the double and the rising pink spread fence as well. It's getting a little bit strong here for Logan. And clear fence 11 for Queensland, Jess Kearns riding Nicabo Elvis, the big brown horse. In the first round, she had nine penalties, two fences down and also one time penalty. So although this is a big horse and gets over a lot of ground, he's probably a little bit harder to turn on the corners and get balanced up in front of his fences. So Jess just taking a little more time on the corners and that's where she's incurred her time penalty. But this time... So far, jumping a very clean, calm round. Yes, and this time, no problem with the plank fence. Unfortunately, punches the front rail of that pink spread fence. So four penalties. And again, the front of the Oxa, fence 10 and clear over 11. So a total of eight jumping penalties. So second rider for New Zealand is Katie Meredith and she is riding Mighty Play. And Katie had the only clear round in the first round. So this is a lovely, calm traveling horse and Katie certainly rode him beautifully in the first round. Rattles fence two, but no penalty.
and clear through to fence five. lucky at the planks gave it a really solid rattle but fortunately for Katie Meredith the rail didn't fall the horse getting quite strong and finds a very long stride coming into the first part of the double but jumps it safely and again getting quite bold here to the second last fence and to the vertical but very nicely ridden well done Lovely round, and again, no penalties to Katie Meredith and mighty play. So at this stage, things are not looking too good for Queensland. Uh, New Ze Zealand are certainly well ahead of us. They finished with 12 penalties in the first round, and uh, Australian were on 16. And uh, at this stage, New Zealand has had a 12 penalty round and a clear round. So Australia on 20 and 8 the second round so pressure really on here for our last two Australian riders and uh, Emma Crichton certainly not a stranger to pressure and this little mare Chocolato jumping boldly but so far carefully Oh, and very fortunate at fence five. A rattle, but the top rail stayed in place. And yes, this time very strongly ridden by Emma. She wasn't going to let Chocolato duck out of that to that fence again, so. rail at fence eight safely through the double just two fences remaining for Emma she had four penalties in the first round and she's finished with four penalties in the second round Rider three for New Zealand is Bridget Hansen, and she is riding Fiete. Eight penalties in round one. And so far clear through to fence five. Probably getting to know this horse a little better in the second round. It certainly seems to be traveling very nicely for her. Big leap over fence eight. It certainly caused a lot of problems that rising pink spread this evening with these horses. Two fences remaining. Ooh, took off a little early, misstrided the last fence, but no penalty and it's a lovely clear round for Bridget Hansen and Fiete. So, we're now through to our last riders. So for Queensland, Olivia Hamoud riding Laurel Glen Raj. And unfortunately for Olivia, fence one down. And certainly looking at this stage that uh, this is going to be a, a victory for New Zealand today, bearing in mind that we only need to carry the three best scores from the round. And at this stage, looking very, very difficult for Queensland to win. A 
And if that is the case, of course, that means that it's going to be a fabulous competition tomorrow in the final round. Had Queensland won this competition tonight, basically, it would have been a dead round tomorrow with the winner already decided. So as it looks to be happening, it should be a fabulous and exciting final to this competition tomorrow. And another four penalties there for Olivia. And again... So that's three rails and just the one fence remaining. And 12 jumping penalties for Laurel Glen Raj and Olivia Hamoud. Now, last horse, Luke D, Galaxy M. And... Uh, Pretty much regardless of what this horse does, it looks as if New Zealand has won this competition this evening. They're travelling with this round on a 12 and a clear and a clear. And again, this horse travelling very calmly. In the first round, just four penalties. And there's a rail at fence six. This has a little bit of a look at the fern planks. And just two fences remaining. Four penalties from his first round. And he completes his second round also on four jumping penalties. So that makes it a very exciting event tomorrow with New Zealand running absolute outright winners this evening and uh, beating Queensland. So it was the other way around last night. So tomorrow should be a fabulous event.